up, what up, it's Dane here. In this video, I'm going to be telling you the most important factor when it comes to fat loss, right? So, I've been on loads of fat loss diets myself. Um, whatever you can probably name it, I've probably been on it or I've definitely heard of it, probably. So, anyway, I've been on a lot of diets. I tried to lose weight. However, the most important factor that only now, only recently, I've really understood, right? And a lot of people don't understand this. A lot of people think, oh, don't eat carbs, they make you fat. Don't eat fat, that makes you fat. Go on a paleo diet, go on a keto diet, stuff like this. However, there's an underlying principle that no one, no one actually tells you this. And this is not just like a clickbait title or clickbait marketing shit. This is real truth, right? So, if you want to stay on a diet, this is so important. Oh, I just can't emphasize this enough, right? So, if you want to get lean shredded, for anyone weight loss, this is real, real important, okay? So I'm gonna cut straight for the shit. I don't wanna make this video too long for just to tell you the most important fat loss factor. So, the important diet factor is a calorie deficit. No matter what diet you go on, if you go on a keto diet, you can still not lose weight, right? However, it's gonna be a little bit hard to not lose weight because you're cutting out the carbs. However, you are, you can definitely overconsume consume fats and remember fats are double the amount of calories or more than double the amount of calories compared to, excuse me, protein and carbohydrates. Basically telling you that any diet you go on, you can gain weight, right? So there's no superior diet. However, the best diet is the one you can stick to. I say this in almost every single one of my videos is the one that you can stick to. Let me tell you that again so you get it in your head. Don't let anyone tell you this diet's the best, this diet's the best. Because I know a lot of people, especially on YouTube, this intimate fasting thing is blowing up. And yes, I do use this myself. However, I do understand it's not for everyone. When I tell people about this, they say, oh, no, this is too extreme for me. I say, fine, good. Pick a diet that you can stick to. Right? So that's number one. And interlinking with that, like I said, the most important diet, the one that will help you lose weight is the diet with a calorie deficit. Most important factor. Now, the underlying principle, the whole purpose of this video is coming up right here. So this is so, so important, man. It's your environment. It's your surroundings. Let's look at let's look at this. Like, let me tell you a story. Say, for example, I've been on a diet for say two weeks, right? And I actually have done this before, so it is actually kind of a real story, right? So about a month ago, or maybe two months ago, I was on a cut. I was on a mini cut. I was doing it for one to two weeks. I ended up going for about three weeks just to lose a little bit more fat. However, when it came to week number two, day number three or something, say like 16, 17 days. Um, as I work for a pizza shop and I'm the, the delivery driver, stuff like this, you can imagine what happens, right? So when I put the pizza in the car and I'm delivering this shit, um, obviously I can smell the like, really nice stuff. And basically what I'm trying to tell you is, and it's leading to this, control your surroundings. And I knew I could not sustain my diet because I'm in the pizza shop, I'm cutting the pizza, I'm smelling all the stuff, and my body's in starvation mode, right? And no matter how much willpower you have, and <laughs> believe me, you're gonna laugh at this one, I actually believe I'm a superman, or believed anyway. I always believed, man, I have, I have so much willpower, man, I can do anything I want. And that's a good mindset to have in a way. However, when it comes to dieting, man, you need to understand that your willpower is so, so limited. You need to control your surroundings. So, even when, even in, at your work, right, if your friends at work or something like this has got chocolate near you and your body's in a starvation mode, you've been dieting for two to three weeks, trust me, you need to get it out of your sight because eventually it will hinder your mind and you'll just say, oh, I'll just eat it one day. And that, it's just going to blow the whole diet, right? And I'm telling you, this this fact is so important. I wish someone had told me this, right? I wish someone hadn't told me, cut the carbs, cut the fats. I wish someone had just told me, control your surroundings, right? In your job, wherever you go. So anyway, that's the underlying principle. Control your surroundings, control your environment. And when I say environment, I'm not talking about the grass outside or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Control the environment, interlinking with food. So anyway, that's the end of the video. Video went on a bit too long, I guess, for the fact that I thought I'd give you some story time, Dane story time. So anyway, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe down below. And man, this vlogging shit hurts your shoulders, man. I can, I can dumbbell shoulder press 100 pounds and I can't even hold like a 300 gram camera for like 10 seconds. Anyway, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>